Guys, I feel compelled to tell you there is nothing wrong with your computer monitor. This is a loud tie. If I've got to do these videos at 4 or 5 in the morning, I figured the least I could do is wake you up here this early Sunday morning. Are those of you old enough to remember when TV stations actually went off the air like at midnight or 1 o'clock in the morning and they put up those test bar screens? What do you think? Doesn't this tie remind you of them? Yep. Hey guys, out to Marco here. This is going to be your Sunday video report and uh, lots of stuff to go over. Uh, a chance for you to win $300 of my money playing fantasy football and a money-saving discount coupon code that will save you $12 off of any single purchase today plus a couple of free picks on the Eagles Dolphins and a three-team teaser. Believe me, this is the first three-team teaser I've given you or even thought about this season, but I like it, and I'm going to give it to you as a free play as well. Um, guys, you know many, many times I've told you that I don't celebrate the wins, nor do I lament the losses. However, um, yesterday, I won, but in the middle of winning, something struck me. You know, I have a rule here at the site that the minute you go live with a play, you're stuck with it. If you type in the wrong team, you type in the wrong rating, every one of the handicappers affiliated with this site, they know they cannot make a change because with thousands and thousands of customers, there's no way for me of knowing whether or not if one person looked at that play, well, tough luck. You were committed to it because otherwise, you know, without integrity, we have nothing. You can never be accused of changing a play, changing a rating, etc. So yesterday, I released, I was doing, you know, I worked all day. I handicapped all night. I went ahead. Uh, there's nothing worse than preparing for a Saturday college basketball card. Football, you know the lines all week long. Basketball, it's a lot harder. So it's like 2 o'clock in the morning. I go ahead and I had a big 15-dime play yesterday on Xavier. Now, listen, it was my double-digit destroyer of the year. And when you have a seven and a half point favorite that wins by 23, I'd say that was a pretty damn good play. But within minutes of putting the site live, it dawned on me, it should have been my first ever 30 dime play. Now listen, if I had lost that game yesterday, I would have been sitting here today telling you, thank God I didn't make it my first ever 30 dime play. But you know, the one factor that is more important than anything else when it comes to handicapping college basketball is revenge. And you saw how revenge fueled Xavier style of play yesterday, how the animosity between those two teams spilled over with the brawl that forced the game to be called with nine and a half seconds to go. And revenge was the thing that, you know, I had all the research. I knew everything about these two teams. And I thought after the fact, my God, I should have made that a 39 play. But listen, Am I complaining? Absolutely not. I just wanted to tell you that just dawned on me after I hit the submit button, the guy that makes the rules at the site screwed up himself. But still, I'll take the 15-dime winner. College basketball, did I not tell you the first month of the season, the easiest time to make money, guys, in college hoops especially? 11-2 and starting college basketball, including 5-1 and one with those 15-dime plays. Uh, I want to talk about some other handicappers. Man, there are a lot of handicappers that are doing really well in college basketball, but only a couple of guys ventured into college football yesterday. One of them happened to be Anthony Red, and congratulations going out to A. Red. His two plays yesterday, 100-dime winner on Army, 50-dime play on Army in the first half against Navy, swept the board, 150 dimes of profit. Man, that was a really good game yesterday. And that's the great thing about that series. So steeped in tradition, you don't have to be good if you're Army or Navy. You can both be 3-7 and seven or 4-8. and eight. You know they're going to lay it all on the line and play that one till the final minute. As I said, really good game yesterday, so congratulations to A-Red. A um, couple other handicappers. Dom Chambers, 50-dime winner yesterday, number 8 out of 10. Michigan State outright as a road dog against Gonzaga. 23 out of 33 winning days for Dom. 723 dimes of profit in that stretch, which means a $10 player has won $7,000. $270 in that stretch. So 23 out of 33 winning days for Dom. But Dom, not as good as me, baby. And I know you're watching this video, so I'm sure I'll hear from you later today because I have won 24 of the last 34 days. So take that, Dominator. Anyway, uh, other guys that are hot, uh, Scott Delaney, of course, 69 underdog game of the year, biggest play of the season, Michigan State. He was on them as well. Uh, that was his college best bet, uh, number nine out of 12 on the season. He's 18 and six in 
college basketball this year. A couple of guys here with big plays today you should be aware of. Uh, Shawn Michaels, 100-dime NFL winner, number 8 out of 10. It's his NFC Game of the Year on Carolina and Atlanta, of course, last Sunday. He hit his third straight Sunday night bailout Game of the Year play this season when he gave you New Orleans over Detroit. Again, that's NFL winner, number 8 out of 10, Carolina and Atlanta. Jeff Benton, biggest NFL play of the entire season. It is also a 100-dime play. You may recall last Saturday, he had his 100-dime college football dog of the year, Michigan State, uh, against Wisconsin, the Big Ten title game. Was that not one of the best college football games you saw all season long? Uh, today, his one and only 100-dime NFL game of the year, it's the Sunday night clash between the Giants and Dallas. Uh, Jeff Benton, 434 dimes profit the last 41 days, so over a six-week period, a 10-dime player has won uh, 4,340 dimes. Uh, Derek Mancini, second ever 80-dime NFL release of his career goes today. Hits his dog of the year part number two. Hit dog number year of uh, dog of the year number one last Sunday when the Giants covered it in that home loss to the uh, Green Bay Packers. So those are among the handicappers that are hot here. Let me give you the money saving discount coupon code. It's two words for you guys. You put it together when you enter it. You'll save twelve dollars off of any single purchase you make today. It's December dozen. December dozen. D E C E M B E R. D O Z E N. December dozen. Two words, but put them together. No space between them. Enter one prompting in the shopping cart and you will save $12 off of any single purchase you make today. Uh, hey. You know, every single week we're doing a contest here in conjunction with uh, DraftStreet.com. You can click on the ads here at the site, and it'll bring you to it. Or you can go to DraftStreet.com, which is a little harder. You can just click on the ads. That's what I would do. And uh, use my last name, DeMarco, and you'll get free entry into the contest. The contest is this, guys. Surrender dollars of my money at stake. Top seven finish in the money. It's free to enter. Free, guys. It's free for you to play. Takes you less than 10 minutes to draft a team. And that's what you do. You're buying and drafting a team. You've got a $100,000 mythical bankroll. You've got to draft a couple of quarterbacks, a couple of running backs, a couple of wide receivers, a tight end, etc. Takes you less than 10 minutes to put together your team. You've got till 1 o'clock Eastern time to do it. Click on the ads here at the site. Go over to DraftStreet.com. My last name, DeMarco, enters you into the contest for free. If you played earlier in the season, you can play again every week. Top seven finish in the money. Matter of fact, last week, let's see, who won the contest last week? Your screen name was Corky, no, I'm sorry, Corey K82, uh, 173.7 points. Marty Marr was number two, two and a half points back. Uh... Corey K82 last week had Aaron Rodgers and Alex Smith as his quarterbacks. Chris Johnson and Ray Rice as his running backs. Yeah, that was a pretty good draft for him. Um, I don't want to talk. Oh, I finished 52nd place. But hey, I was like in uh, fourth place two weeks ago. Anyway, go over to DraftStreet.com. Click on the ads. $300 of my money at stake. And it's instant gratification, guys. It's not like the old-fashioned fantasy league or rotisserie league where you had to wait till the end of the season to collect your money. This is all decided right after the Monday night game that you're all going to sleep through tomorrow night between uh, Seattle and St. Louis. Aren't we excited for that game, right? Uh, that's when the contest is over. You got to 1 o'clock Eastern time today to enter the contest, so do it now. Um, my free picks today. First one is going to be the Philadelphia Eagles as the road dog. Listen, they're getting three points. If you're going to play this game, you obviously want to buy up the half point. I think the Eagles bounce back today after that gutless, heartless performance two Thursdays ago at Seattle. Even though the Dolphins have been playing so well, covering five straight, winning four of their last five. Actually, they've covered six in a row, I think it is. And I know the Eagles have sucked Okay, they've lost eight of their last 11 games overall. Uh, but I like them today with Vic and Macklin coming back to guide the offense. And, uh, you know, you can call it a hunch. You can call it whatever you want. There's a reason I'm not putting my own money on it. But I think Philadelphia is the play today. So there you go. Um, the other play I'm going with is going to be a three-team 10-point teaser. Now, I like two-team six-point teasers. Although, last Sunday... For the first time ever, I bet a two-team seven-point teaser and cashed in and was grateful to have those seven points since I had the Saints and the Packers in that teaser. Uh, every now and then, Blue Moon, maybe once a year, I will actually bet a three-team ten teaser, a three-team ten-point teaser. But, you know, you got to find the right numbers. You've got to find big favorites that are laying 13 points or more that you feel 100% confidence will get the job done. And that's the case here today. So, the three-team teaser, uh, the first part is going to be Detroit. Now, the Lions are uh, laying between 10 and 10.5 and points at home today against Minnesota. So, let's just say Detroit minus one. Some of you get Detroit even. 
Will the Lions win this game straight up? Yes, they will. Remember, this is a Lions team earlier this year that went to Minnesota, down 20-0 at halftime and rallied for the 23-20 overtime win. Minnesota, 26-ranked pass defense in the uh, league, giving up 68% completions. Uh, the secondary has been scorched for 24 touchdowns versus just six interceptions this year. Matthew Stafford is saying, bring it on because my team can't run the ball, so I might as well pick it apart through the air. So I'll take Detroit. I'll put Detroit in there along with... Um, the Green Bay Packers, uh, you're laying what, uh, you know, you can actually get Green Bay at maybe about 12 some places here. Other places today, they're 12 and a half. But yeah, I'm going to go with the Packers in this game. And if you have to know why, I'm going to go with the Packers against uh, Oakland, uh, laying uh, two and a half to three points at home. Uh, then you shouldn't be gambling. But I'm going to go definitely with Green Bay here. Tough spot for the Raiders. Fourth road game in five weeks. Aaron Rodgers at home this year has just been devastating. 72% uh, completion, 17 touchdown passes, just three interceptions. And you know, the Packers have been on a nice little run against the point spreads, uh, against the odds makers here of late. What is their run. Uh, let's see, they're on an 8-1 ATS run against the AFC, 13-5 ATS run overall. So, going to go with Green Bay here, let's say minus two points. And then I'm going to complete the teaser with the team that I'm most worried about, the schizophrenic New York Jets, who are currently laying 10.5 at home, so you would make them minus one at home against Kansas City, because I don't think Tyler Palco can beat them. Uh, so, again, the Jets, the Packers, and the uh, Lions, and a three-team teaser that I actually really like. And Philadelphia is my hunt play is the other free pick. Uh, December dozen will get you $12 off of any single purchase you make today using that as your discount coupon code. Make sure you check out the uh, over there. Hopefully I just pointed in the right direction on the screen since this is reversed when I'm filming. But over there is uh, where you can click on the link to watch the Countdown to Kickoff preview show where uh, myself and Steve Boonin highlight all your games today from a point spread perspective. Good luck everybody and catch you again on Monday.